to understand about these security assurances is it shows that the West is there for the long haul. One of the great fears that I've heard from many, many Ukrainians is uh, if there is uh, uh, a negotiated peace now or in a year to come, that'll just give Russia a few years to remobilize, to rearm, and then to complete the job that they failed to start to, to complete two years ago when they uh, hoped to take Kyiv in a matter of days, if not weeks. We are demonstrating that uh, Canada and other countries will be unflinching in our support uh, for Ukraine uh, over the long term. Indeed, over the long term, uh, we hope to see them as part of NATO uh, and giving us a 10-year uh, time frame to be there to support Ukraine, to give people the support that they know. And it's not just military support, of course, we continue to step up on that. It's also to know, it's for Ukrainians to know, as they make tremendous personal sacrifices uh, to protect their own uh, language, their own culture, their own very identity along with their land, that we recognize and see them also fighting up, fighting for the rules-based order around the world. That sovereignty and territorial integrity matters, not just in Ukraine, not just in Europe, but everywhere around the world where someone has a neighbor with a slightly larger army is relying on the rules, the UN Charter that Vladimir Putin decided to violate to keep them safe. So as we stand for this, Ukrainians know they are not alone and they will not be alone.